Hey guys, welcome to the first lesson in the Instagram Explosion course. And the first lesson is going to be a very basic lesson, and for a lot of you, you can skip this. But I think it's really important to first figure out if your brand will actually do well on Instagram. You know, there are a lot of social medias out there. There's LinkedIn, there's Facebook, Twitter. Uh, all these social medias have their own pros and cons, um, and also Pinterest too. Uh, Instagram is meant for the brands that are very visual based and and this is because it's a very visual platform. The brands that are going to do the best on Instagram are the ones that post a lot of pictures. So let's take a look at some of the niches that will do really well on Instagram. Song of Style. I'm looking at this uh, Instagram right here. It is a fashion blogger. Uh, her name is Ame, Ame song, <laughs> yeah, 2.5 million followers, this girl gets, is a lot of engagement, she's absolutely killing it on Instagram, and the thing is, fashion is a very visual uh, niche, and obviously, it's a really good niche, because you can also purchase stuff looking at fashion photos. And we'll give you uh, some tools later on that'll help you monetize your feed if you're trying to be a fashion company, or if you are a fashion company, I should say. Fitness, Shreds, this is a really good company uh, doing a lot of good things on Instagram. Um, if you look at their feed, they have a lot of different stuff about uh, fitness. For example, pictures of guys shirtless, you know, Nothing that I like too much, but, you know, there are pictures of girls as well. There's also different, like, recipes. This links out to their uh, Shreds Kitchen, which will give you, like, recipes. And as you can see, fitness is a very popular niche because it's really uh, visually based. You always want to talk about uh, people, how people look. Do they have muscles? Do they have abs? It's all about aesthetics. Um, and that also brings me to the next one, which is food. Uh, Shreds Kitchen, which is a, another Instagram account uh, owned by Shreds. This one gives you a lot of different food stuffs. Food is very visually based, and it's also one of the most important, or not important, but one of the most uh, popular niches on Instagram. Uh, everyone loves food porn, hashtag food porn. And it's just just look at this photo it just looks beautiful like you just want to eat this and that's why food is such a great niche for instagram luxury and cars um cars is really big uh i actually really like this instagram because i like cars but for the people who really like cars they they like to see new cars they like to see pictures of cars um and so this is a really sick instagram for them to do that uh blacklist the last one is the motivational quotes. Now, motivational quotes is a little different because it's not necessarily visual. However, this this uh, Instagram Lux Quotes does it really well. They use a very visual picture and then add a quote on top of it, and that's that's a really good way to do it if you're trying to do um, motivational quotes. Uh, for example, if you're an entrepreneurial Instagram, you could do something like this. I know a lot of uh, other magazines uh, are doing this and. We are doing the same thing for the Hyper Lush Instagram. Uh, so this is a good tactic. These these little quotes, they're very easily made. You don't you just have to find the picture. You have to go on this site called wordswag.com. Oh, whoops, that's not right. Wordswag. Let's Google it. Wordswag.co is the website. And it's just it just makes these little pictures for you. It's a really awesome little app, and it just lets you do all this, makes you all this content really easily. So if you're into the motivational quotes, that is a really good app to use. And those do really well on Instagram because people like you know getting motivated and people like learning about different things and people like to get that little shove in the, in the butt or whatever that phrase is. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, these are good examples of niches. Oh yeah. And Amped Asia, hot girls, very self-explanatory, very visually based. Um, you know, I don't even, I don't think I need to say anymore, but 
all the thirsty guys on Instagram love hot girls. So there you go. So what's an example of a company or brand that would not do well on Instagram? Well, I found one the other day and that would be PayPal. Uh, if you look at PayPal, uh, obviously PayPal is the, um, the money sending app and it's very uh, hard for them to build up their following. They're a billion dollar company. They only have 22,000 followers. That's pretty sad for a, a company that's that big. And the reason is because the content they post is just not even relevant to what they're doing. Like they sell, they send money. What they're posting is pictures of raves, concerts. That doesn't make me want to purchase or join the PayPal um, company. So there's no point for them to even be on Instagram. But, you know, obviously they're a big company, so they have to have an Instagram. Um, and the reason why they, they're doing so bad is because they're just not a visually based company. It's all about sending money back and forth. There's not really that much they could post, I guess, about money. I mean, they could post like a bunch of like pictures of like guys in Lamborghinis or something, but because their company is like kind of big and stuff, I guess they don't really want to do that. But anyways, PayPal is an example of a company that would not do well on Instagram. Other examples would be something that is very technical, something that doesn't rely on pictures, um, like a data analytics company or something like that. And so, yeah, there you go. That's a, a good example of a company that is not going to do well on Instagram. Uh, but if your company has uh, anything to do with photos, is visually based, you're going to do really well on Instagram. If your company is part of any of the niches that I just mentioned, you're going to have a really easy time because you're going to be uh, uh, able to do a lot more on Instagram and your account is going to be able to grow faster. But, you know, I probably missed a few niches, so don't fret. Even if your company is not in the niches that I discussed, you know, there's a, still a good chance that you will be able to do really well on Instagram. So let's move on to the next lesson.